Okay, we're testing the digital monitors. The one on the left side was built in 2012. The one in the center uh, was built in 2008. Of the three I purchased, it's the one that uh, operates the most accurately. And on the right is just a Craftsman digital voltmeter. You can see that the one on the center and on the right, um, the voltage is pretty much tracking, varying between 121, 122 volts. But the one on the left, it's continuously jumping between 121 and 125 or 124. It seems to just go back and forth over a 4 volt span. Seems kind of odd that the older one from 2008 seems much more stable. Doesn't make that 3 or 4 volt jump up and down like the one on the left does. Now a little pet peeve I have about this uh, these digital voltage monitors too, and I've got a um, device called auto transformer set up so I can adjust the voltage and purposely trip the alarm. I'm going to take it down to the trip point and uh, you will see that the alarms properly work and go to an alarm, but then there's a complaint that I have, or an observation at least. So I'm dropping the voltage down to about okay, 98 volts. You can see that they you can see they both properly went into alarm, but the issue is the alarm only sounds for about five seconds. So if you happen to go out to your if you happen to be plugging in your camper, you're outside, you plug it in. These are on the inside. Um, they'll sound only for five seconds to alert you there's a problem. By the time you get in, the alarm will have already stopped. So unless you walk right in and look directly at the red light, which is not even flashing, you won't know that you have a problem. And you have to be directly in front of it. If you're a little bit off, you can no longer see the red light. So it works properly from a technical standpoint, but from a user standpoint, if you don't hear the alarm and there's no obvious light or even a light flashing, then it, it kind of defeats the purpose. It forces you to walk right up to it and look directly at it, especially if it's at a normal outlet height. You can't see the red light. You can't read the screen unless you bend over and take a look at it. Otherwise, technically, they work very well.